just want to mention, um, growing up as an Asian American, one of the hardest things was to um, find pride in yourself and love yourself, your culture for who you are. And you always wanted to be a, a, another culture because they were really popular. You wanted to be black, white because they're always on TV and they always, you know, look good up there, positive images. Whereas Asian Americans, we have that William Hung image all over America. So one thing that bothers me growing up is, you know, it was hard to find pride in myself because if you look down the street, you know, there are, you can't find that. And people, what people tell you, obviously can't listen to. And what you see on TV hurts you. So um, I just want to say growing up, one, one main thing that hurts me the most is seeing the Asian females looking down on the Asian males because, you know, they think that we're inferior to others. That's why they um, want to improve their social status by dating other guys and in return they'll look down on us and I feel that and I sense that and it hurts a lot just like other, how past countries they invade a country take their woman and you know it feels sort of the same way here what's worse is that some of these girls they, they don't want anything to be associated with being Asian they look down on Asian males and you know they they shameful of their own culture and their male counterparts. Now that we touched the topic a little bit, I just want to mention, you know, this yellow, yellow fever thing. It's like, it's not like I, you know, hate it to the core. It's not like I care about it. It's not like I don't care about it. It's just it annoys me the hell when they date other guys just because they're ashamed of their culture because they're ashamed of who they are. And that, I think, is completely wrong. I mean, I know a lot of great Asian girls who date wonderful, wonderful white guys, Hispanic guys, black guys, you name it. But, you know, those are cool. I, those guys are wonderful guys. But when girls start dating guys just because they're ashamed of themselves, that, that to me is not right. And it looks really bad on them, on their part, because, you know, they're trying to be someone they're not. And, you know, you cannot, you can never deny yourself who you are. Every day you look in the mirror, you see you, the Asian person who left your people and disgraced your background and are or is still ashamed of yourself. Oh, hold on. Let's stop right there and think of Yellow Fever as a different perspective, just for fun. Let's call it Yellow Peril, as they have used this term as a racist remark a long time ago. Or, as Russell Peter once said, India and China are the two largest populations in the world. So you can run from us now, sooner or later, we're gonna hump you. So, you know, can't really think of it as a bad thing. Just try to be optimistic about it, you know? Think of it as spreading Asian culture. Our culture is being spread all over America. You can just hear China say, How do we turn everybody into Chinese? Ah, we'll use our women. Americans love women brought for generations that are growing up right now, you know, or they have to find pride, they have to be proud of who they are, they have to know the true identity and accept it, not to be someone else, that's the most important thing, and, um, and also stereotypes, they have to know which ones are good and which ones are bad, let's say um, there's a stereotype of Asians being smart, and a kid will try to break that stereotype by dropping out of school or doing bad in class, you know, that sort of stuff, and, you know, but that stereotype you gotta keep, you know, me, for me growing up, I took joy and pride in breaking stereotypes such as being athletic, um, playing in all sorts of sports, and saying things that people won't expect from me, but, you know, stereotypes sometimes are good and sometimes are bad, depends on how you take it, so, um, my I think the youth are growing up right now, growing up right now, they have it easier than, te let's say, this past 10 years, because there's a lot more Asian people standing out in the TV, such as Jewel Kwan. He's a great representation.
Notice he never mentions, he rarely mentions specifically he's Korean, unless asked. He t tells people he's Asian American. And that's one thing about America, but there, there's, there's one type of Asian, which is Asian. Because um, whatever one group of Asian does, it reflects on many other groups. Because we all look alike to all of them. And geez, don't even lie, I'm sure a lot of you can't even tell Asians apart. Korean, Japanese, Chinese, you know, sometimes just can't tell. I can't tell, most parts. But not like I care who's who, you know, I look at people for who they are as human beings, not how you look, how, what color you are. Let's say the VTech accident, he could pass for a Chinese or Japanese person. And you know, if we're gonna take pride in what another group does good, we also have to take what's bad. Together, we'll be unified and we'll be strong as a unit instead of fighting each other all the time.